nomads, vagabonds, bus lifers. How are we doing? How's your dreams? How close are you? How far are you? Um, we're on the Onyx RCR. And we're on the bike path. No, no, that's a big no, no. Uh, but it's about 4 p.m. and it's a holiday. Not too busy. And we got pedals. And we got brakes. And we're just, and there's just one of us, so it's not that bad of a look. Um, we are on our way. We are on a 23, we're at the beginning of a 23 mile journey. AKA nothing. A drop in the bucket for the RCR. Maybe not with my John Angel sicko mode settings, but we know we got a good, we know that we can shred at about 35, for about 35, 36 miles. We proved that in uh, San Francisco. But yeah, we're gonna be on the bike path for a while. Most of this you've seen already, but we are not gonna go so south so early. We're gonna cross the bridge over in Andover, I think is the town. The trick is to just not make eye contact. some gigantic bug. This is the Mississippi River, I believe. How do I get out to that island? 
And is that an island? That's an island right there. That is an island. What am I supposed to do now? Take the streets? What is this? Okay, that was a road for a second. That was a road. And now it became a, oh my God, if this tells, if this takes me to that goddamn bridge again. It can't, because I didn't see any road around here. There's only one way out of that bridge detour. Wow, there it is. You couldn't have just let me go over that bridge, huh? I was going to take my Super 73, which can do 23 miles, but not full speed, but I forgot to charge the dang thing. I don't like to charge my bikes up fully if I don't know when I'm going to use them next. I heard that's bad for your battery to just keep it fully charged for long periods of time. Maybe that's why my Suron is toast. So what I did with my Suron battery is I uh, opened it up. I checked all the leads. This was advice from uh, good old Sawyer Reynolds. Checked all the leads. Most of them were at 3.94 volts or something like that. Uh, but a couple of groups of cells were at zero. I think my battery is toast. <sighs> I've heard you can send it back to Luna Cycle and they'll fix it. For like 230 bucks or something with shipping and all that. But uh, what I did was I bought a Suron charger, a, one that doesn't charge at 10 amps, a slower one that charges at two amps. Hopefully that'll fix it. I have I don't have high hopes for that I gotta be honest do not have high hopes but hopefully hopefully that'll fix it and then once it's fully charged I can just ride it like normal and charge it with the normal 10 amp charger but I think it might be time for a new battery but that is bogus it's so bogus that you spend four grand on a dirt bike and then after 2,500 miles it's toast that almost makes me want to do gas. Oh, 
Okay, now we're back. We're back onto the tracks again. So I don't know. I don't. I don't like. Uh, I don't like riding this on the road too far out in uh, out here because you never know. Some of these suburban cops might just really drop the book on you. How are you doing? Some of these uh, suburban officers of the law might uh, might really just be like, nah, man, you can't, you can't, you can't be riding that crap. And I'll be like, I tried, I tried registering it. They said I need a dealer ID number. What is this? There's just little spots like this everywhere. Like, what is that building over there? That might be the first Vagabond I've seen in uh, Minnesota so far. I mean, I lived here, I've seen tons, but since my return, that's probably the first Vagabond I've seen. I got this old video. It's called Walmart Mini Moto Motorcycle Hauls Ass. And every couple of months, this video just goes viral. It went viral like a few weeks after I first posted it. And then it went viral again, like a few months after that. And just recently it went viral again for the third time. And I watch it all the time to try to figure out what makes it viral and I cannot figure it out. fun turn. Right into a bridge. Take the pedestrian, tunnel. What the hell? Jesus! Oh. Guys, the sun is still up. Fun fact about this lake over here. Just the other day, uh, a man killed himself. And then the following day, the wife and mother went to the lake, drowned all three kids, and then killed herself. Well, that's gonna be the vlog, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We've got about 25 miles on the clock. 71.6 volts left. Huge shout out to all my patrons. Thank you for supporting the channel and putting Diesel in the bus and supporting uh, my trips to Home Depot to buy lumber. Thanks for clicking that like button. Thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for having good vibes. Thanks for not leaving comments about lane splitting on other videos of mine. Get after it. Save a dinosaur. Ride an e-bike. <laughs>